Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for our A to Z sewing technique series, I'm going to be focusing on how to make gathers. The first step is to sew a long basting stitch across the top of your fabric that you want to gather. And I like to do this first stitch right on the seam allowance. So if you're sewing with a 5 8 inch seam allowance, I will sew it that basting stitch right on the 5 8 inch line. For a lot of projects, one line of basting stitches is more than enough to gather your fabric. But because I like to work with a higher shearing ratio, I typically like to do two lines of basting stitches. That way I have a little bit more control because I have so much extra fabric to gather. For my second row of basting stitches, I'm stitching a quarter of an inch in the seam allowance from my original basting line. That way I don't create any holes on the part of the fabric that's going to be visible. But if you have a really high shearing ratio and your fabric does not create holes once you pull the basting stitch out, I suggest doing this on the other side of your basting line and what that will do is it will allow you to stitch right in the middle of those two basting lines and create a really beautiful gather that doesn't have any folds or puckers in it at all. The next thing we're going to do is find and mark the center of both of our pieces. If you're working with a commercial pattern then there should already be notches on your pattern pieces but if you forgot to transfer them now is the time to double check before you move on to the next step. Match up the markings that you just made right sides together and pin in place. To actually start gathering you're going to grab one thread tail from each of your stitch lines and I like to actually use the top threads rather than the bobbin threads but that's just personal preference. So once you have those two thread tails in hand you're just going to start pulling on your fabric until it starts to make the gathers. As you're making your gathers, be sure to distribute them evenly, that way you don't have any flat spots or puckering on the fabric. Once you're satisfied with how your gathers look, you can go ahead and pin them in place and we can take it over to our sewing machine. Now we can stitch our seam with whatever seam allowance our pattern calls for. And this is personal preference, but whenever I'm sewing gathers, I like to put the gathered fabric um, on the bottom side rather than on the top because I feel like the presser foot sometimes will push the gathers and make them look almost like little pleats. Whereas if I put it on the bottom side, the feed dogs kind of help distribute the gathers a little bit more evenly rather than pushing them just in one direction. But once again, personal preference. Some people like to stitch it face up and that's fine too. Next we're going to go ahead and take out our basting stitches. But before you take out the basting stitches, double check your work and make sure that your gathers look the way that you want them to on the right side of the fabric. Because sometimes, especially if you're working with like fabrics like what I'm working with is kind of a thicker fabric, you will get folds or puckers on occasion. And if you take your basting stitches out first, you are going to have a more difficult time going back and fixing them. So just be sure that your work looks exactly how you want it to before you take out these basting stitches. For a finishing touch, I like to sew an additional top stitch just to help keep the fabric from being bulky where the gathers are. Okay guys, here are my finished gathers. As you can tell, this is obviously not the best fabric to use for gathers, um, but you can also see I have some flat spots and that is where doing that stitch on the outside of your seam allowance really comes in handy when you are working with a thick fabric like mine. Okay guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and watch the other videos in my A to Z sewing technique series and hit that subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I post new videos.